Is your laptop battery showing plugged in but not charging? Is it stuck at 0% and you've tried everything to fix it? Don't worry. In this video, we'll go through several fixes step by step and I'll show you what finally worked for me. So let's get started. Before we dive into fixing the issue, let's first figure out when exactly this problem started. To do that, we'll need to generate a detailed battery report. Open command prompt as an administrator and type this command. Power CFG slash battery report. After running this command, you'll see a path where the report is saved. Let's head over to that path in File Explorer. In the folder, you'll find a file named batteryreport.xml. Go ahead and open it. Here, you'll get a complete breakdown of your battery's performance over time. Now, looking at my battery report, it shows that my battery stopped charging on the 18th of October. You can see how the charge slowly dropped until it hit 0%. And ever since then, my laptop has been running solely on AC power. Interestingly enough, I also received a firmware update on that same day, October 18th. That could very well be the reason why this issue started. So now let's dive into finding the fix. First solution, run the power troubleshooter. Windows comes with a built-in troubleshooter for battery and power issues. Let me show you how to run it. Go to Settings, then System, and scroll down to Troubleshoot. Next, click on Other Troubleshooters and find Power Troubleshooter. Click on Run. Windows will automatically search for any power issues and try to fix them. There is no power troubleshooter option in my case. I will run the troubleshooter through command prompt. Open command prompt as administrator. Press Windows plus X and select Windows Terminal, Admin or Command Prompt, Admin from the menu. Type this prompt, msdt.xe slash id power diagnostic. Hit enter. This will launch the power troubleshooter. Follow the prompts to diagnose and fix any power related issues. If this fixed your issue, awesome. But if your battery is still stuck at 0%, don't worry, we'll move on to the next fix. Next up, we'll check for any issues with your battery drivers. You may need to update or roll them back. Right-click the Start button and go to Device Manager. Expand the Batteries section. Now right-click on Microsoft ACPI Compliant Control Method Battery and click Update Driver. If your drivers are up to date but the issue persists, try uninstall the driver. That is our solution number three. Device Manager. Expand the Batteries section. 
Now, right click on Microsoft ACPI compliant control method battery and click uninstall driver. After this, restart the computer. If the problem is solved, you're good to go. If not, don't worry, we're not done yet. At this point, it's a good idea to visit your laptop's manufacturer website and use their support tools to check for updated drivers or battery health. Most laptop brands offer online support tools that let you check for driver updates and monitor your battery health. For HP, Lenovo, Acer and Dell, I will share the link in the description area so you can easily reach their website. For my laptop, which is a Dell, I went to the Dell Support Center where you can download the Dell Support Assist tool. This tool automatically checks for driver updates, analyzes your battery condition, and provides troubleshooting recommendations. Here you can see, beside battery, it says failure. I will check for updates and see. If you see any updates, install them. Now down here, select Dell Power Management Service. As there is an issue with my laptop's power management, it suggested me to download this tool. Install and run the tool. Here, you see the condition of your battery is excellent, but it is not charging. Here, if your battery condition shows poor or weak or dead, you need to replace the battery. But if the condition is good, we still have hope. This tool also suggests what are the best power settings for me as per my usage. If these manufacturer-specific tools find a problem with your battery or drivers, follow their suggestions to fix the issue. If this doesn't solve the problem, we still have one final fix that worked for me. None of these fixes worked for me, but this final step is what ultimately solved the issue. Let's remove the battery and drain any residual power. First, power off your laptop completely. If your laptop has a removable battery, go ahead and carefully remove it. If you have an inbuilt battery, you'll need to unscrew the back panel to access the battery. After removing the battery, press and hold the power button for 15 to 20 seconds. This will drain any leftover power from the laptop. Now reattach the battery, whether it's removable or inbuilt, and screw the back panel back in if needed. Finally, plug in your charger, power on the laptop, and check the battery status. For me, this is what fixed the issue. The battery started charging immediately after reattaching it. If this worked for you, leave a comment below and let me know.
If your battery is still not charging and you've run all the checks using your laptop manufacturer's support tools like Dell Support Assist and the battery health is shown as good, don't worry. It's most likely a connection issue. For those with an inbuilt battery, if you're not comfortable with handling the hardware yourself, you can visit a technician. But just a quick tip. Remember, your battery is in good condition according to the support tool test. All you need is for the technician to open the panel and remove the battery for a few seconds. Don't let them convince you that you need an expensive replacement or that there's a lot of work involved. This should be a quick and simple fix. I hope this video helped you solve the issue. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tech solutions. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.